You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Downton Abbey After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Downton Abbey After Show. And welcome, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we are here doing another AfterBuzz TV After Show for Downton Abbey Series 4, Episode 2. I'm John Comerford, and I'm joined in the studio by Courtney Stewart. Hello, And Tamara Berg. Hi, everybody. And in the booth is Stephen Lemieux. Stephen, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, we see that, uh, well, let, uh, can we say that Ed has stepped into some very ugly shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and Mosley gets uh, some money. And we'll start off with Mary getting a letter from Beyond the Grave, shall we say. Yes. Uh, no, we saw the big package being delivered. And we, on very, very um, enigmatically. And it's like, oh, my God, what's that? What's, what's in there? What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, of course, Carson said, well, maybe we should have Mary figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a dress what star. Did I do? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> but Mrs. Husband. Hughes has better ideas because Mary's not feeling so good about the whole thing. So yeah. it's up to them to give it to Lord Grantham. And then we find that there's a letter. Mrs. Hughes, always oh. intercepting people's I, mail. I know, exactly. <laughs> right? Last week, she's taking it from the trash. Taking it out of the and trash. And here she's taking it away from Mary, so mm -hmm. to speak. So um, we find the letter. Or I should say Lord Grantham finds Find the, the letter, letter in the book. Well, I didn't see what book it was, by the way. Was it, what, did it matter? Random book. I, I wasn't sure if there was some sort of metaphorical reference to it, but I didn't <laughs> see the book. No. Um, and it's it, it's just what we were all uh, wondering about from last week's episode. What, how would this go on? He's a lawyer, an attorney. How, how could he, he not have us? a will? Mm -hmm. And, of course, all are answered. But I thought it was interesting that Lord Grantham's not so happy about this. <laughs> You thought that was interesting? Well, because, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I thought it was interesting because I go, really, he's still going to play this? Yes, of course he is. Downton right. is his stuff. Yeah, well, I didn't. Yeah, but after getting it. crushed so hard, you know, with the loss of the fortune, yeah. you would think he you might think. be a little bit gun shy. Mm -hmm. My point is, yeah, uh, you're not so good to have everything in your hands. Ego right. It's an ugly thing. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words, Courtney. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, you know, I just want to real quickly remem remind our listeners that yeah. we're doing the UK version oh, right, of UK Down Abbey. In Cohen, yeah. In, yeah. Right, exactly. In, in concert with the UK airing of the yeah. episode. So there may be a little differences when this comes on to, into the US. And just, just, since we just mentioned that, can we talk to everybody whining about in the air? What was it they were saying? Oh, my gosh, the, yes. The, I was reading the Facebook page today yeah. for Down Abbey <laughs> Series 4. And, um, you know, Americans, we love our Downton Abbey. And, you know, sometimes... Actually, this is what was written on yeah. one of the Facebook entries. Was someone said, "I can't believe you Brits get to see Downton Abbey so soon." You know, wah wah. And then all the Brits come in and go, "Oh, you damn Americans! You stop whiny complaining! Yeah. Stop you whiny whining! Americans. They're so whiny!" And yeah. then a couple of the Americans go, "Well, we're Americans. We're entitled to whine." So anyway, Lovely. you know, I think it just has everything to do with we love Downton yeah. Abbey. Of course. Um, and some people are not, you know, don't have the kind of access that we are lucky to have here at AfterBuzz. Yeah. Um, to in America to, to be able to find it. So knowing that there are things going on in the UK that <laughs> Americans can't get to, yeah, just it, it just kills them it. sometime. <laughs> Um, and, you know, we do, we three do our best not to brag to all of our friends and family that we're getting to watch it early. But I got to tell you, my sisters want to kill me when they know that I've seen it early. True. They True. really it's do. Ugly. It's really not pretty. They just it's don't want to talk to me because they don't want to know anything about it. Oh, right. they don't want to know anything about it? They don't want to know anything about it because they can't watch it. So they're like, no. I'm like, okay, fine. I need to, that's what AfterBuzz is for. All right. So about? they don't want anything. But let's get back to it. Yeah. So when we have Grantham meeting with the Dowager. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I go, Violet, always a good one. Is he, I mean, will he ever say anything to his mother? Will they ever talk back to her in any way? Because she just, I mean, let's face it, she just slapped that boy. She Every single time. Yeah. And, you know, th my favorite quote of the episode came right in this one was, when you talk like that, I'm tempted to call for nanny, yeah. send you to <laughs> supper with, I mean, send you to bed without supper. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. And he just rolls. Yeah, you kind of thing. expect him to be like, <laughs> shucks, mother. <laughs> shucks, she's the best bit of fire. Love it. 
Well, I just, I'm going, when is, he gonna, when is Julian going to give him something to say back to her? Not. That's his mom. It's I know, it. but come on. No. At some point. No. They are proper in every possible way. No. You respect your mother. No. I, w- I will say, I think, you know, Lord Grantham is going to redeem himself a little bit this series. I, 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 I hope so. so. Because, you know, he him being the bumbling fool is a little uh, demeaning to him, let's just say. Yeah. Is it at all getting tiresome, that particular character? Mm-hmm. Maybe fault, a little. Not fault, but the 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 because the, they did that the a lot. The storyline, yeah, exactly. Mean, yeah. And I'm going. He's not that much of a bumbling idiot, is he? Really? No, he's, no, he's not that so, much. I just he's in his own space yeah. and who he is, and he's not really up for change, as we can see. Yeah, yeah. clearly. Yeah, I know, I, and he's doing his best to protect Mary, yeah. but it really, I mean, it's, you know, he has he's, good intention. He's protecting his own self-interest as well. Yeah. And you know, here's the thing: these privileged people who mm-hmm. don't have. Uh, a set purpose the way the working class do in that time, uh-huh. it's, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to, for them to find their way. And when he in his position has sort of been, you know, well, his he had job his way essentially and got taken been, away. Exactly. He's been taken saying? away. Yeah. Then what do you do? Because he certainly had well, his set position being it. the Lord. But right. as that got usurped. What do you do? Exactly, Go, right. you know, hang out with the dogs and shoot pheasant all day long? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a little boring. That doesn't sound so bad. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, that's not such a bad life. <laughs> You're right. And let's face it. I mean, when he was in Scotland, you remember how much he loved it? He had a yes, great time. Yes, he did. So of course, true. he did want to get back after all the bagpipes, so we can't really... <laughs> the bagpipes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I was uh, kind of surprised just at Mary's... I mean, the the, the reaction was so um, interesting when they when she, it was finally read out to everybody and Mary's reaction, which is why she, you know she cried and she wouldn't... I was whoa, the Ice Queen. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got, finally get to see. I mean, we saw a little bit of it last week when she was with Carson, but that was surprising for her to have that dis- display of emotion in front of the whole family. No, not to you. Yes, definitely. It was incredibly touching to me what he was saying because, you know, we got to remember what we love about Matthew. We haven't seen him in a few months, yeah. you know, because of his death, and um, and so you know, so for the the note that he wrote at the end, well, now I shall sign, the so- sign this and get off for dinner with you. What a lovely thought. Mm-hmm. Just, it was a little heartbreaking. <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. It was. Oh, really? So it was so, I wasn't, uh, it was just a very, it was a great moving moment mm-hmm. to hear. And everybody talked about how that letter was like, it was good to hear his final sort of words. So yes. Speak. And it was, have a it, little yeah. bit of resolution. I felt that as a, as an audience, as a, yeah. a fan, like, oh Absolutely, my God, we I wanted, his energy. We wanted the character to have a final thought too. Yeah. So I didn't like that the final thought was him was on the side of the road or the head <laughs> split out. Like, that was awful. <laughs> yeah. So, I needed final it. Thoughts. So, it was, well, that's great. It worked for you then. Yeah. It was. It was beautiful. It's so interesting. One of the things that Lord Grantham is concerned about is double paying of the death duty. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning that if the money had gone straight to baby George, then he would have, the the death duty had been paid once, but since it has to go through Mm -hmm. um, Mary, Mary. and then when Mary dies, goes on to Mm -hmm. George, it's going to have to be paid twice. So I I don't know what kind of money that means, but, Mm -hmm. but one of the things that I was reading was Someone again, you know, the, the Brits can be rel- relatively snarky in their comments sometimes. Are they? Um, one of the ones I saw was, "Oh, so they're going to have to sell a few diamond brooches in order to c- cover the death duties." Poor sad Lord Grantham. Oh. <laughs> well, he, but I don't know what a, that means. You know, yeah, well, he talked land. about selling land. Yeah, so if they so have to sell land, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it must be a yeah, large but, percentage. Yeah, it's got to be. Like, my God, what kind you of gotta sell death duties? Land. <laughs> it's awful. <Yeah. laughs> but the it's kind of taxes here. It was kind of awful too. Though that's sort of the first thing out of his mouth yes. essentially yeah. when she's like oh, I got this letter like yeah. things okay well now you gotta pay two debt duties that's not great for your son like why yeah. would that be your first thought that's why I don't he's like not him. the warmest most sentimental guy no. let's well, just you know face the fact on that one no. so you didn't like the way he just kind of like went him. at her at dinner no, time when he just kind of came like out like <laughs> give her a minute like <laughs> pat her on the back say see he thought of you honey because she was still having that moment yeah. like mm-hmm. he thought of you and he didn't leave you without this thought. Yeah, so this is all this protecting her from uh, all You are this protecting stuff. her. That made it that much more selfish. <laughs> well, and, and her saying, you know, I'd like to offer my opinion. I'd like to be, be given the opportunity right. to express my opinion. And he says, well, I think you should have your opinion, but you're coming from a place of no knowledge mm-hmm. at all. You know, you poor sad thing. Yeah, and uh, rightfully so. Well, uh, you know, a couple, <laughs> we see what all the knowledge he had got him. <laughs> 
Well, one of my drama queen, one of my uh -huh. Twitter friends, was talking about how she really hates how he's always talking down to her, how he's mm -hmm. speaking down to her. Mm -hmm. And that, but again, that's the generation from mm -hmm. whence he came. And, and he's also a father, so in some respects, he, that's mean, his not, job I, to I, speak not, down to I'm her. I'm not saying I agree with it, but you know, yeah. I, parents often do that because they still see you as the child, regardless of how old you are. But not Cora. She was rather happy because she yeah. comes. You know, she Funny. comes from the American from point American of view point as much as she loves and has lived in England. She understands this whole thing about uh, of the inheritance being a little more equal in that sense. And apparently, yeah. so does Grandma. Yeah, well, everybody's against <laughs> Lord, <laughs> the Lord. Lord Grantham. Yeah, he's out on his own. He's way out there on yeah. the limb. Nobody's with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and she started scheming, Dowager, of course. Oh, I thought it was does. hysterical. She had she had meetings. She had yes. meetings with Bates today, and she had meetings with uh, Mosley, the dad, last Mosley, week. And, the, and now yeah. she's having meetings with Tom. Yes. Oh, right. And I say Tom because it's hard for her to even say his name. name. <laughs> that was a great moment. Yeah. I thought I could call him Branson. <laughs> I thought I could call him Branson. <laughs> now that he's the, now that it's Tom, Grandma. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And she's again, the, the scheming. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. But, you know, her scheming uh, when I say scheming this I like that there's her scheming and then of course on the other side we have Edna and Thomas which we'll get to and their scheming mm -hmm. right but the, the way it's done is is just just totally different right? yes and I think I find it funny that upstairs and downstairs everybody's scheming they mm -hmm. just do it differently and I like that she's the one that sort of even though she sort of makes note often of how yeah. things are changing and how uh, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of okay the way that it was yeah. she still is also the energy of pulling it forward with Mary and everything yeah. and standing up to her son. <laughs> well, it is interesting because she's so conflicted about yeah, some of it. Some of it she's just so forward thinking and other than she can't even call the man Tom. <laughs> right. Exactly. Branson. Right. And, you know, she finds, uh, you know, uh, she would find the electric mixer of last week atrocious. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Or when um, mm -hmm. Edith comes back from from town, from yeah. London, doesn't change her clothes. Oh, no, you don't right. need to. You don't need to yes. stand on formality with us. Yeah. No, why should we no. benefit from some courtesy? <laughs> she <laughs> says. <That's the> line. <laughs> That's so, and she says that. But then in the next breath, she's yeah. telling Mary to like sneak around, and Mary's like, sneak around behind Dad's back, isn't yeah, that bad? Yeah. And she's like, there can be too much truth in yeah, any relationship. That was my line. I love that I line. Love There's that. too much truth in every relationship. <laughs> and what, what ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was fabulous. So, what do we think about Tom? Now, Tom, of course, really wants Mary involved. And I'm, I'm curious, do you think Tom wants Mary involved? Uh, for two things, it seems like he wants her involved because he, it, it helps. It would help her through her grief because he's aware of what that's like. Yes, he's been through that before, Absolutely. and he knows what yeah. being getting money. He was talking about it last week, so it's, that also seems an extension of last week that he wants to include her. But I really think he thinks that she's got great ideas, and not only would, it, would they be great ideas, but they would be more in keeping with his thinking. Mm -hmm. So he, now he has uh, he has another partner to go up against the Lord. And he's an ally. Yeah. So would you guys agree with that? I definitely think? think those are the reasons. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think he does feel some familial obligation as well. Yeah. You know, there's also come, his point of view coming from what's going to be best for this family. Yeah. You know, so I think that's sort of the third element for mm -hmm. me is, you know, yes, they're, they're my ideas and my ideas were in uh, alignment with Matthew's. Mm -hmm. And I want to help Mary, but really, I think this is the the right Especially thing to do and for the down, for yeah. the Abbey and the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, and I also think he has a soft spot for Mary because just because you know it took a while for Mary to really come around to him, mm -hmm. but at some point, remember it clicked with Sybil and everything, and then she really was fighting for him and an advocate for him. And I think because of that, he really is trying to help her. Well, and also remember the sweetness that was between Matthew and Tom oh, sure. yeah, before yeah. Matthew and Mary got married. And, yeah. and <laughs> so Matthew we're going to marry into this family. <laughs> we better stick together. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, do I know that. So. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so I thought that that was, you know, that was just another way to sort of show him being part of the family. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure he knows and recognizes that Mary has something to bring to the yeah. table and yeah. that that's to the same way that he saw his wife mm -hmm. who passes someone who had more to offer than just yeah. what they are being told they have to offer mm -hmm. and I think he wants to bring that out because he has a daughter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that and that's going to be her legacy, legacy too. Yeah, exactly. Another thing that I was reading on Facebook today was was a couple of people were saying, "Oh, is there something between Mary and Tom?" And I was like, yeah. "No, no, Courtney, no." Courtney, what are you thinking? You're, you're, I mean, I do see how that could totally go there. Do <laughs> you? Like, I do, and I don't know if that. I'm like, Downton wouldn't do that. No. 
But then again, maybe they would. I'm not sure. They. I think that people find solace and, and comfort in each other's similar situations, yeah. and then they're going to be working together and sneaking around so Daddy doesn't know what's going on, ah. and getting closer, and that I would make see. her interesting TV. I'm going to say never going to happen. I'm going to say never going to happen. I'm uh, saying it's possible. Yeah, I, I give my, a lot of people would think that I absolutely right. understand that. I well, because there were that. some sort of, yeah. you know, kind looks between them, which mm -hmm. could be interpreted yeah. that way. Yeah. But the two things that I would say is Mary's a snob, and I yeah. think as much as she <laughs> appreciates him for who he is, she does remember him as a chauffeur. Yeah. And secondarily, from the outside world, we know they're bringing love interests in from Mary. Yeah, exactly. so, right. you know, right. That just kind but, of spoils but, it. Right? But, yeah, and also, though, I think it would be—I think it's great that she has a relationship that isn't about uh, mm -hmm. a suitor or anything like that, and has an advocate like that because she doesn't yes. have that anywhere there. That's true. Yes. And I think so it's good for Tom as well, because I, I don't know. I just think it shows that equality it, because they came from such disparate worlds, and if it would be great if they were friends, and it had nothing and to do with it. any kind of suitorness. Suiting mm -hmm. or wooing or anything like that. I agree. So, I think anyway. <laughs> so, uh, let's talk about uh, testamentary intention. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, barrister. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I just thought I was like, what the hell? I'm writing that, that down. Is go, extra. Oh, exactly. <laughs> they, well, Murray came through uh, for Lord Grantham, Get so that Murray. will, uh, or I should say, the letter uh, had enough testamentary intention so that it is, for all intents and purposes, a will. A will. A will. So Mary does get to inherit half the estate. Now, I've, I didn't, for some reason, I wasn't paying attention, and I went, oh, that's right, half the half estate. Right. And here's Lord Grantham Ooh. at that moment. <laughs> and right away, right away, they go, okay, because I have ideas, and, well, I don't agree. And there we go, okay, there we go. Oh, here Playing out just like Lord Grantham didn't want it to play mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But, of course, now we're setting up this season because they're going to be butting heads like crazy. Which is interesting to me with the testamentary intention or whatever it is, um, that Matthew had the forethought to actually have the thing witnessed yeah. was very interesting to yeah. me because yeah. it was written as a letter, yeah. but be, ever being the attorney, yeah. did have it witnessed. And boy, that was a smart move because that was the thing for me that made it, you know, mm -hmm. very cut and dried. So, Which is why I didn't understand why there was any real any, argument any, about yeah. it. Well, yeah, but they wanted that, there to be an argument. But no, but those law, the laws of the time. I mean, let's face it. That's when we true. think about the laws of the, the that era, I, mean, I, I get baffled. Going yeah. really, it goes on, and That's they it. the women have no say, None. <laughs> yeah. nothing. And I'm going, wow, that is kind well, of shocking. Lady is broke. right. Mm -hmm. But you know, mm -hmm. it's not too far uh, from our own. As well, but uh, and the other part about it, I liked the way that uh, Grantham and uh, uh, Tom had their little uh, tat -a tat after she said all that, because mm -hmm. you're not going to quiet her, <laughs> oh, <laughs> which right. is exactly what sure. he, he wants to just keep her safe and quiet, quiet. and out of the way. Like go play yeah. with your baby, and that, and, uh, and then he used the livestock reference, and then she has a bit in her mouth, <laughs> and you're not gonna you're not gonna rein her in. I know, but I thought that was great, you know, because you know that's you know kind of where it comes from. But I also thought it, it echoed what the dowager was saying was when. She, she had a meeting with Tom. She said, show, show, show her, her the farms the and the <laughs> livestock. <laughs> you know? That was like, I don't funny. really know what, exactly. she whatever says, you do. Exactly. And I thought that for me, that was a, just a nice little callback to that moment. I mean, I don't know how, uh, you know, it was supposed to be one, but that's just how no. I took it. I liked it because the dowager you're talking about life. <laughs> like, it was just had such a, and really, a, literally, a sour taste in her mouth. <laughs> the <laughs> livestock. Cows, mm -hmm. those things. Yeah, <laughs> those wretched, awful things. So I think this is going to set up the whole season. I, I assume this is yep. going to be the butting heads. Because no. they, the two of them used to be, uh, meaning Lord Grantham and Mary, used to be in concert all the time. Mm -hmm. So this will be interesting to see how they play. And I feel bad for Lord Grantham because he's going to lose. Yeah. And he's getting it from a whole bunch of directions. Uh, uh, no, yeah, something, nobody's <laughs> on his side. Nobody, nobody coming to his defense. Now, but what do you think about this that, he, you know, um, the you know the fact that he's kind of being opposed at all times mm -hmm. these days. I mean, it's a little bit of a repeat. It is um, in character. What do you think about that? Well, I'd like to see somewhere. Like, I'd like to see they take him somewhere else because yeah. it is a repeat, and it's the kind of you know I, it makes for great conflict. But at some point, we got you got to give us some other storyline, right? Because I would like to see this guy start to because it was interesting. You take this lord and then you decimate him, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought that was cool. And then you bring somebody else in to take his place, which was great too. But now you're doing the same thing. It just happens to be with your daughter. So uh, it's I don't know. We'll see. It may be different because it's a female. It's going to feel different because it's, it's his, his daughter. daughter. Yeah. So all that kind of stuff. So you get 
get those interplay going. Do you think there's a possibility that he will turn around and it will be, uh, you know, great teaming of minds between mother and, I mean, father and daughter? Well, I, I mean, it, it will be on some things, but but I don't know how good TV right. that yeah. makes yeah. because everything's all <laughs> hunky dory. But uh, you know, it's. It, it seems like an obvious choice to have this happen, and uh, I'm hoping that they'll that they'll do more with it because it is obvious. Right. Because it would be more interesting to do it a different right. route. Right. Right. Yeah. So Courtney's Agreed. dubious. No, I'm just thinking because I I just see him sort of because everyone around him mm -hmm. is sort of going with the flow of things and how things are changing or finding their way in that change. Yes. Whether it's you mm -hmm. know grandma's deciding what she's okay with and what she's not okay with, yeah. you know, and his wife, mm -hmm. she kind of. She sort of just sort of floats alone along to yeah, with almost yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So, and obviously he's got his two daughters left. Mary's sort of been the one who did what she wanted, kind of, mm -hmm. but not really, because it still stayed in concert with what he felt were the core values or yeah. what have you. And obviously Edith is coming tradition. along doing her own yeah. right thing, which is only going to go God knows where at this point. Well, yeah, but <laughs> going to Germany, what have you. So Dad seems like he has to be the solid... Well, I, yeah, that's the way. To, the he's middle. always been the traditionalist in the sense that he's always kept that role. And Mary has usually been in concert. Now, she won't be mm -hmm. because she's got new, newer ideas, so to speak. And then Edith is going to be off doing this uh, artsy, literati kind of flapper. I don't know what she's going, but she's not going to be doing the traditional route. No. So all that tradition is being taken away from him. And he doesn't have anybody, even his, his mother, who is ultra-traditionalist on many levels, is not going to be in his corner. So I mean, I'm just going, okay, but we've seen him there before. I mean, you got to give him something else to play. I really hope that they do. I hope that they do. I hope it's yeah. not, you know, we're, that we're seeing the same story again. Yeah. And maybe it's going to be, you know, him him more, less as a, a, a patriarch and mm -hmm. more of a father. Yeah. Well, I'd like him because, you know, he's just getting him. He's getting chopped up at the knees by everybody. It would be <laughs> nice if he was able to stand up to something. Right? Because, yeah, you know, he's got no one. Can we talk yeah. about Edith a little bit? Let's go, yes. We are Jump there. in. So Edith, you know, in her little love den with yeah. Gregson, it looks mm -hmm. like. Nice. That train was really late. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We had to sit there on mm -hmm. the tracks for ever. <laughs> I think that's where you were. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that conversation where he's saying, you know, I'm going to go be a German, yep. and and she says, do you realize what scorn you're bringing upon yourself? And, and Excuse me. them by proxy. I mean, right. By association, um, not by proxy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he says, you know, as long as you love me, I'll yeah. do anything. Mm -hmm. And boy, I mean, clearly they're setting that up to be an amazing yeah. challenge for the like two Dad of them. Like, Dad hasn't enough to deal with. <laughs> like, he doesn't even like me. Exactly. From all directions. Like, Are you kidding me? You're a German now? Yeah, exactly. Like, right. Uh, and of course, you invited him to the how was it the how, it wasn't a house party. It was a family, family party. It's called a house party. <laughs> they, they it's a house party. It, they, she did call it a house party. Did she really? Yeah, I okay. think she did. I think Down she did. The house party. <laughs> uh <-huh. Woo> <laughs> Raise the atrium. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's gonna um, I, uh, that's next week. I sure, or I believe it's next week, and that's where we'll get to meet Mary's new interest as well. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wonder if. If we're going to again be talking about poor, poor Edith, yeah, once well, again, of course, of course. But how? But this time, I'm, you know, it'll be a different kind of. I mean, how oh, they'll make her poor, poor Edith is even worse. Or maybe it's just because it's on her own terms this time a yeah. little bit more. Like I feel like she sort of she stood up to her family. Like yes. I want to write. I'm yeah. gonna go yes. do this. I go to yeah. London. Like and so yeah, maybe I I don't see how this can go well. Oh, okay. yeah. But I at least feel <laughs> you know like, you know silver lining on this one. I don't I don't see how it can go well. Like even if he goes, yeah. it doesn't sound like a good no. plan. No. But in this case, at least I feel like she's sort of asserted herself and is coming into herself so she yes. feels like a more whole person than yes. she was yeah. the last time it went no, away. It's, it's always, yeah, I love it now because, again, this is why I like the way they've written her because before it was always poor, poor Edith yeah. and it was always living in Mary's shadow and, mm -hmm. all, and they've given her some place to go. She is standing on her own. She's even with their costuming, costuming and their her, clothing. Right. Yeah. I, everything is, I think that's great. You can see a lot of growth in that and I, I would love that to be happening with mm -hmm. Lord Grantham and a couple others. That, let's move them along. And thing. you can absolutely see her asserting herself yeah. because she's pushed it a little bit from time to time and yeah. then, you know, kissing Gregson in public but then, Ooh. you know, when I can see some great monologues coming up for her, <laughs> really, I mean, yeah. you know, because she's, oh, kind of rather. Yeah. she's really setting up, you know, her own opinions and yeah. having her own voice Especially and that's going to be have to as a writer see. as well. So yeah. she's going to have to probably yeah. defend, defend the things that she writes. Yeah. So I'm sure they're not going to always ring well. 
at right. home. Right. And it'll be heartbreak as in heartbreak as you still have a life and you still can do things yeah. and still have something to do with yourself. Not yeah. the last time, which was exactly. like life break. Aye, aye, like, aye, aye. And what on can earth? Can you imagine how she's, if he ends up being becoming a German citizen, everybody finds out. Now, how is she going to defend him? Right. It would be interesting to see how that character. She was and that vo- Exactly. She divorce. And the voice and, and, you know, how she finds that voice and defends him. That'll yeah. be, it'll be interesting. Because we've seen Mary go toe-to-toe with Dad. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's all going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not wearing that That's sassy dress did. she wore to dinner and coming yeah, exactly. home late on a train. Well, yeah. we would love to hear what everybody else out there has to think about the Edith and uh, her trials and tribulations. <laughs> and, her, and I'm sorry. And, and as well as anything else on Don Nami, please uh, write and comment. Go to iTunes. Let us know what your theories are. What, let, let us know what you think should happen or what you'd like to see happen. We'd love to hear all those things. In fact, Tamara, do you have any for you? I do. I have one um, one YouTube follower who mm-hmm. said, what I like most about this episode was all the historical tidbits. This is about last week. Yeah. She says, for example, Lady Grantham is struggling to find a lady's maid because in the 20s there were more job opportunities and fewer people were going into service. Yeah, because they had other things. Um, yeah. Because less people were choosing that life. Yeah, people, yeah. And then she also says, uh, Edith hints about going to Germany. You know where that's going to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was, that was that Oh, that was um, Soren. Crane, Crane, Soren Crane. Thank you, Soren. All right. Yes. So, absolutely, please go to iTunes, rate and comment. Go to YouTube. You can do that. Go to AfterBuzz TV. Anywhere. Just let us know. What you you can, can find us. Find absolutely. Us. Go find send us. You can also send us tweets too. Yes, yeah, we, we love and, get for sure. Yeah. Now, I want to move on to Carson and uh, that that storyline because we saw it last week. Uh, obviously, Mrs. Hughes had seen the, cr- oh, <laughs> the g- note and decided to stick her nose in. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this week we continue that storyline. We find out a little bit more. I thought the most interesting thing about the storyline for me was the cheerful Charlies. The cheerful <laughs> Charlies. <laughs> I went, mean, what the, you know, when, first of all, how? I honestly didn't know his first name was Charles. I never cared and never wanted to know because it was always Carson, but his mm-hmm. name is Charlie. He calls Charlie him, Carson. you know, at the end he called him Charlie. So he was one of the cheerful Charlies. For, I thought that was two things. One, I didn't know his name was Charlie. I didn't think he could ever be cheerful. Right. So, exactly. That is not did, a word so, I would use to exactly. describe ever. Carson. Ever. Except for the time that he found out that <laughs> Mrs. Hughes was not uh, going to die. But that wasn't even cheerful. That was relief. Well, that's true. But remember, he was, he was whistling and he singing. He was whistling and singing oh, and stuff. True. So that was, it was gleeful, I said. But anyway, mm-hmm. the point is, I want to see that guy. Where is that guy? I wanted, I wanted to see. I was hoping to see more of I know. That. Griggs gone now, and yeah. I, I thought we were going to get to see a great tap number. That was my hope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, well, they might as he walked off at the end on the train. They yeah. That did. is lady now. Yeah, I was hoping for something they on there. They found their but. moments. But so the conflict between them was... Because of a dame. A dame. dame. And what do I always say? Dames is trouble. Right. So <laughs> Alice Neal yes. was the girl between them. Mm-hmm. Greg, Greg took her away. Well, not, not really. He she didn't left. Really her. She left. Well, that was uh, his story. Yeah, that's right. true. Okay. We don't yeah. know. If it's, I but did, I believed him. I believed him, too. Yeah, I don't think it was. Uh, why Alice chose him? No, it wasn't him. that I didn't believe him. It's just that his story was different than perhaps right. what the reality was. Okay. That's what sure. I mean by that. And it was certainly different from what uh, cheerful Charlie, Charlie Carson believed. believed. Mm-hmm. So he had a whole different thinking on that. But, uh, you know, again, I thought it was hysterical. Mrs. Hughes not only, you know, did the whole finding a note and setting this whole thing in motion, but when it came down to it, she just stepped right in the Carson space yeah. and basically told them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an open wound. Go fix it. Go exactly. It. And I, the the way, just the way they they shot it was kind of fun. It's like, okay, she's gonna step right up in there, <laughs> get, get in, in his, his grill. Right, literally yes. that, <laughs> cool. you yep, know, closing in. the space mm-hmm. between them and. And you know, you don't often see that there. No, no. they're so proper. Yeah, and I thought, whoa, and that was a big moment. Nobody steps to Carson no, like that. No, no, except Mrs. Hughes. She's the only one who can get away with it. Because mm-hmm. so, that nice special moment. relationship. Mm-hmm. I mean, even Isabel. When she came to visit Carson and say, hey, listen, uh, I came here to see you yes. and does that whole thing. And he gets so up and, you know, gets the scruff on his neck goes up and shuts her down. Mm-hmm. And I'm going, wait a minute, Isabel, last week the nanny shut you down from seeing the kids. <laughs> and now the butler is telling you, hey, this is my concern. And what are you doing? And, and she, yeah, oh, okay. She said, right. okay. Well, she, you know, I, I guess he was right. I mean, it isn't any of her business. But I said, Isabel. I don't like people shutting Isabel down. <laughs> Not that easily. No. She had a little more fire than that. She's, you know, she's still coming she's back, wounded. remember. That's true. She's still a little true, wounded. True. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that, yeah. you know, baby steps. All right. I wanted, I wanted her to step into him, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just did. You know what I was great? I was really grateful to see was What's that it? the doctor's back. Uh huh. Oh, Remember yeah. we had that little you know touch of a romance between them, oh, and yes, we which did. was so sad, so sad. Yeah. But you know maybe there's a little hope for that. No. Well, that's what I was thinking when I saw him there. Yeah, that's you know, a good... you know, maybe, maybe now that she's going through this grief, mm -hmm. some of her um, pretense is is gone, uh -huh. and maybe, you know, maybe because she just didn't really even see it that he was. Well, she, no, she really shut him down. He, yeah, she but, did see it. And you know, she it just might closed be the door on that. It wow. might be now. No, that now though. She may be that, more open to it. Exactly. That. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. That realization that she feels like. Like when she was talking about, I, I, you no longer have a child, you're not a mother anymore. Right. Yeah, like yeah. she feels like she has is, nothing. Who am I? Yeah, like, right. That, yeah. And that may open that up to, well, I'll tell you who yeah. I am. I'm a, I am somebody who is open to this relationship. Yeah. Now, maybe that would be great. I would love I that. Would, that would I make like me that. happy. They were yeah. kind of fun together. I thought they were a good She uh, needs pairing. it. <laughs> she can't just, I mean, she's investing. Obviously, she helped, mm -hmm. helps everybody mm -hmm. when she can. Right. So. She deserves a lot and of love And obviously, for the, they worked great. They have so much in common. Today. They work together. They help Greg a they lot. They help Greg so. get along and, and get a, a job. Of, they got him on a train. There you go. Home. They gave they him a whole new life. That's it. They, she they deserves were, a whole new life. That's a, good, that's a power couple in the, in the Abbey right there. Yes. Come on. That would be nice. <laughs> I'm all for it. So, okay, there you go, Tamara. I'm, I'm all for it. All right, well, I'll, I'll, good I'll call. agree with you on that. Doctor's back. So did you guys, by the way, did you guys like the, the playbills? Did you really, I mean, I really, I'm hoping somewhere, <laughs> please, to have him sing something. Do, do a song yes. and dance or something. Maybe it's coming. Well, you know. Even if it's a private moment, he thinks yeah. he's alone and somebody, Mrs., only Mrs. Hughes can't He's going to sing for Mrs. Hughes. Oh, wow. Well, do you think help. that's what they were trying to suggest with them walking away together? I think that he finally. That there's, there's a romance between them, yeah. buddy? I, I think that this closing that chapter yeah. is what makes him now available That's what I was to thinking. be open to it. Whether right, because he may have been happen. carrying a torch for Alice yes, all, this, all time. this time. That's what I think. And when you have that kind of wow. heartbreak in your heart and you never yeah, let it go, you're not open to somebody yeah, and, else. And she, he also now knows that she's passed Has away. Died. Yeah. So, uh, and but this, just the way they shot that and everything, and the way that you know he walked right by Mrs. Hughes, and I went, "Wait, what? You going, gonna walk right by her?" But she got him. Yeah, right, and then they walked together. I'm going. Or, I think. Would you like to walk home together? Yeah, I I, th I think that was the beginning of them starting a long term. It's going to take forever Ever. for them to fulfill. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like the remains of the day. It'll take forever <laughs> for that to happen, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, and finally, finally. Right, because we're here matchmaking everybody. It yeah. can't be what the future of Downton Abbey is no. going to be. Everybody being happy and you know Not butterflies happy. and unicorns. It just no. can't happen. But yeah. when they're loving, that gives more problems. So uh -huh. when they're downstairs, mm -hmm. all working and having to work together. Together and that's more attention. Close right. quarters. Since we talked about that, then let's talk about uh, Anna and Bates. And since they are eleven, and can they get a break? <laughs> what's that? Can, can they get a break? No, no, man. Why is everybody gonna? They tortured him so long. Yeah, I know. And but here's the thing. I was just going. Oh, Thomas, you have no clue. Okay, first of all, uh, let's talk about the. Let's go to the Edna and Anna thing. Okay. Uh, Edna and Anna. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because uh, I thought. We were talking about Bates, but the thing that kills me is that so Edna does something to the garment of Cora's. I don't know what garment whatever it was, but she, she ruined it or something like that. And of course, Thomas comes up with the scheming plan is hey, let's blame it on somebody else. I'm going, Thomas, I, gre I mean, that's it's great stuff because the two of them, she, Edna just steps right into Mrs. Mm -hmm. O'Brien's shoes. Right? right. Yeah, which is great. It's going to be fun fodder for us. Yes. But I'm thinking, Thomas, you don't be that. You just poked the sleeping bear. Because are you really going to go up against Bates? Bates? You, here's the thing. You didn't even go up against Bates. You went after his wife. wife. You, oh, yeah. Are you, you crazy? Not, right. Are you crazy? First of all, they saved your ass, and you know it. Yes. And you that's how you're going to do it. Okay, them. Exactly. So, and I'm going, I know he's got flaws like crazy, but are you that much of an idiot? Because yes. you can't go up to that man's wife. That man's been to prison. I mean, you, I mean that guy is going to. He well, doesn't like happy people. And he they're doesn't. happy together. Yeah, I know, but the, and he's miserable. Well, what I think is his motivation? I mean, is it just I, that he can't he can't stand that they're happy together? I think that's part of it. I also think it's he doesn't have a cohort. He doesn't anymore, have his ally. And he really likes that. Yes. And here's now not only can I have a cohort, but I can She's my uh, protege. She can, she can do my I can be things. the mentor. Exactly. Because I can bring her along. Where O'Brien and O'Brien was kind of his, not his puppet master, but he, she led a lot yeah. of that. Yes, she did. So now he's the guy. Oh, no, here, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Let me help you and stuff. So now he's the big man there. 
His little false sense of power. Exactly. Ugh. And what else he's got? And look, let's face it. Last week he was so good about the Nanny West thing. Yes. Yes. And I'm sure that felt pretty good to him to be in the Cora's good graces. I'm sorry, Lady Grantham's Lady good graces. So, uh, it, which is I'm sure why he was able to make that uh, jump. And yeah, she'll believe me because mm -hmm. I did such a good job here. But I just think he's crazy for going after Bates. He's he's a great villain, though, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think this is going to be, you know, I mean, he was definitely the guy you love to hate in mm -hmm. so much of it. When he, you know, got wounded in the war, the, yeah. w the, the way he did that was yeah. just so conniving and you know he is the guy you love to hate he's mm -hmm. great looking i know and now they got him in the uh, he looks yeah he's better all, in the outfit. all yeah. dressed yeah. and yeah. fantastic and he, yeah. he's even got a better air about him yeah. and then and then air turns into an arrogance very quickly, very quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that part's fabulous but i just think he's crazy but i think it's going to be great because i love it yeah. when bates and tom uh thomas are at each other yeah i, I that's do terrific. but it is so nice and means well for everyone oh, and know. it's so oh, awful God. like because yeah she hasn't done anything to anybody she's like only helpful and only yeah. trying to make things okay for and everybody she sees mosley and that's i mean somebody was talking about mosley because this is what leads into the the rest of the story with anna and the mosley thing is that she sees him paving the road and yeah. doing the very lowly manual labor job uh, which he's not at all happy that uh, he's completely embarrassed that he sees humiliated by that job yeah. for yes. sure she doesn't care of course uh, and all she wants to do is help the guy. Yeah. Right. And and somebody was writing the, how they just couldn't stand Mosley because who cares about him? And I'm going, what the hell? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this, yeah, this oh, article that I read Mosley. was so snarky. It started off by saying, you know, Series 4 is a bore. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't remember where I read it, but trash probably if you Google that phrase, you can find it. But, boy, did they just just trash it. We're only, first of all, Two episodes in. Yeah, so I don't know. How to give it a chance. Yeah. you've got to lay a little bit of groundwork. You yeah. know, a lot of Literally. the reasons to set everything up. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of the reasons why you know shows have trouble in their sophomore year, as they call it, is because you know everything's new. The first yeah. season, second season, yeah. you know, you're you you know all the new things, and you're trying to lay lay the groundwork yeah. for the rest of the season, and you know it's not quite as exciting because yeah. you're. Paving the path. Yeah, and now we're in season four, series four, so we're even further down the road. Again, can't get away from the next one. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, <laughs> but uh, I just love, you know, I, I don't know how or why, but she, the, the actress and the character is just seems so genuine that I buy it. Yes. I mean, I don't care how melodramatic or sentimental it is. Right. It works for me, and I just kind of go... I just want to help her. <laughs> yeah, I just, and I don't want to see her harmed, like on yes, purpose. Exactly. That's, it's just like you know, and, and I think that's why Julian was going. Yeah, this is going to be good because everybody loves, loves her. her. Yeah. I'm going to do. Loves I'm gonna her go and after, Mrs. Hughes. And I'm going to go after her for no reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so every, the audience is going crazy now. I'm well, angry. so this scene between Lord Grantham and Bates, where oh, he yeah. was saying. You know, you might need to rein your wife in a little bit, essentially, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. harsh. And, I, and yeah, it was. And, and I go. This, and this is another thing that drives me crazy about the show, in a good way and a bad way. But it drives me because, like, really, you don't know by now, no. Grantham, <laughs> right? That that there's <laughs> there are machinations you like going crazy. on, right? Exactly. <laughs> you don't bother to find out first. <laughs> no, you just lay into somebody. No. Like, do you really not know the soap opera that's going on exactly. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Haven't we seen this Same. before? And the other thing Multiple is, Multiple times. Right? Ex Actually. Excuse me. You know Anna. You know Bates. You haven't given him the benefit of the doubt by right. now. No. Right. And you, he really knows Bates. And that's yes. my point. It's like, are you kidding me? <sighs> so, and and that, poor Anna's just like, what do you mean? Yeah, what I, what I just I told her how to do this. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know I, anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so this, I'm, uh, this is going to make for good stuff, though. Fireworks, Anna, fireworks. Anna, Anna's yeah. gonna, yeah. Yeah. I come to fisticuffs, maybe? Mm. No, no, between, you know, Bates and Thomas, that's what I'm thinking. No, I, th I mean, well, oh, you know, right. Bates did say, and again, this got criticized, um, Bates said, you know, I did learn a thing or two in prison and mm -hmm. was sort of, you know, smirking with it, and maybe the yeah. delivery was a little cheeky, yeah. but he did learn things in <laughs> prison. <laughs> True. Yes, he did. He learned how to get 30 pounds out of Dowager. Right. Well, nice. I don't know if that was important. To, but well, he learned how to forge a note. Yes. He forged that Mosley's name. I thought yeah, that was so a clever little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I look on Mosley's face and he realized, what? I, and he was so, you know, I, I don't know. But, you know, he, I just thought it was great because what's he going to do? He it happened so it. fast. And so, you know, you know. 
and I didn't get it for a second what he was going to try to no, do until I saw no. the forgery. I went, oh, that mm. makes sense. But I had no idea how Bates was going to spin this. Right. He did a good no, job. It was. But clever and allowed Mosley to save face. In front of everybody, mm -hmm. too. In front of everybody, so. and he did it for his wife. Yeah. Yes. Which means he will do lots of things for his mm -hmm. wife. That's right. So, good yeah, point, He's miss. on the forge. Forge. What, what else, else is he, he willing to do? Because mm -hmm. she stuck by him through all that mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he owes her a lot. They are messing with the wrong That's lady. what I'm saying, man. You should not mess with that. Yeah. You just uh -uh. stepped into a whole hell of a lot of trouble. And you have no idea. All right, let's see. What else we got to get to before we get out of here? Um, oh, Rose. Rose. Oh, silly Rose. <laughs> oh, Rose. <laughs> oh, you silly, silly girl. Okay. But uh, she just wants to have a good time. Girls just want to have fun. She just want to have fun. That's it. That's all. But, you know, she just, and I'm, I go, can't she just ever just say, hey, I want to go here? Does she always have, have to, to do it? it? Certain, there needs to be a big drama, <laughs> yeah, yeah, big costume has, drama behind has, it. Yeah, you know, couldn't you just, you know, she always has to do everything on her head. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe that's because she always had to do it with her mom. With her think mom. She can just yes. Out ask. It's the so, normal for yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. she doesn't have to do it any other way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and but, why you know, risk it's just, getting no mm -hmm. when you can just ask for forgiveness later? Yeah, it was not, you know, it's just, and Anna, I'm going, Anna, please oh, don't God, go, Anna. Don't oh, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, but so yeah, let, let's talk about this. You know, Anna's there. Should should we dance? I suppose we should because we need to, you know, chaperone her. Yeah. Anna, blissfully unaware that yeah. she's pretty and people are looking at her. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay. in the in the coming ups, uh -huh. she's getting attention oh, from I someone see. else. I think this is they're they're pointing out that this is maybe going to be a problem. There might be a oh, little yeah, bit sure, of a yeah. trouble you know, in paradise because we right. gotta break them up well, a little bit. I don't know if it's so much breaking them up, but mm -hmm. other people may come cause in strife. and mm -hmm. thank you, cause strife exactly. But uh, you know, I thought you were when you were watching. I thought you were, you were upset because Jimmy was dancing with it, but that wasn't mm. it. It was just that other. She wasn't. He was unaware. Yes. yes. She was aware enough around her surroundings to realize that maybe Rose shouldn't be there. This, yeah. this place is entirely unsuitable. <laughs> yeah. But and it just you know harkened back to the uh, last time we saw Rose out on the town. Oh good lord! <laughs> I just went, girlfriend. Oh, not somebody I want to. Don't ever wrong. put her in a place where there's booze and dancing. And booze, dancing, and boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too much for her to handle. Yeah, she's that's not ready. But for she it. looked really cute. <laughs> well, oh, she was that. adorable. She's so effervescent. Yeah. And then, of course, there's the, the change of attire, so we get the little, I mean, it looks... Right, when, exactly. the, when the beau shows up to the back door yeah. looking for the maid. Uh -huh. But I was upset that Anna, because Anna's just getting herself deep, deeper and deeper, deeper, into, and deeper in that hole, uh -huh. and it's not going to go well. Why, why you got to go through all Just be like, hey, honey. He's yeah, but back. you know, but it's not. It's un unlike you know, cause she seems to be doing it out of just yeah, genuinely trying to help and stuff like that. But as opposed to Jimmy, who's just you know, now when, when Aunt Rose says, "Hey, hang on, we're we're there. Hang on," uh, uh, <laughs> Jimmy says. Yeah, Jimmy comes out and sees the, them kissing. By the way, Rose initiates a kiss yeah, to does, Sam, the Thrally. Uh, yeah, she went back and got him. Yeah. There's uh -huh. a lot of women stepping uh -huh. it up this time. But in a qu I thought this is the thing I think that's going to come back. Is that what she says to Jimmy? Is that uh, don't say anything and I'll be your friend for life. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so that's you, you definitely going to come gonna back. Take advantage yes, of that. Of he course, is. he that is. Out. Of course. So how that happens, I don't know. All right, let's. We got to get to news. Okay. After Buzz TV News. Uh, remember poor, poor Sybil? Yes. yes. Jessica Brown Finley is set to star in a BBC adaptation of. I'm going to butcher it because I don't speak French. Daphne du Meuillers, Jamaica Inn. Okay. Set in 1820 against the backdrop of the windswept Cornish Moors. Mm -hmm. The story is going to be following Mary Yellen, the cast main character, Mary Yellen, and her journey when she is forced to live with an aunt at the eponymous inn, Jamaica Inn, mm -hmm. after the death of her mother and discovers it to be the hub of a smuggling ring. Oh, great. So we'll get okay. to see her another She'll be nice. back. Um, one really... of the things that she said was she felt that she was becoming a little too comfortable in the role of Sybil, and that was oh. part of her motivation for leaving. Oh. Wow. So she that'll got, be she interesting. She got very comfortable very quickly. Yeah, really, yeah, she wasn't there that long. Like, <laughs> it was and enough. And, and she, was didn't, enough. she wasn't at all comfortable in those last few episodes, I gotta say. <laughs> no, it was extremely yeah. uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Rose, Lily James, who played mm -hmm. her, 
just revealed Thank recently you. that she was bombarded with online abuse after she landed the role. Oh. She got a lot of hate via Twitter. She said, the quote was, I got loads oh of nasty tweets when I started the show. She said, I got, she's not even pretty, she's just nasty. And it kind of took over my life for a little while. Oh. What? She thinks it's because she came so quickly after Lady Sybil's death oh. and people were just traumatized by it and had to lash out at something. And oh. so she was the one who got it. Man. So people are crazy. They're They're crazy. gonna hate, the man. Jeez. Holy cow. She wow. is pretty. So there. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Laura Carmichael recently, who plays poor, poor Edith, Edith uh, recently went to Haiti on a charity trip. She flew to the country on a charity mission organized by the Haiti Hospital Appeal. And she admits that she was truly disturbed after witnessing the efforts of doctors there in Haiti who have set up special units to help wow. locals recover after the earthquake um, in 2010. They're still, still having yeah. so still many different. problems yeah. in yeah. Haiti. Um, the other thing that she did was she's now helping to launch a royal birth, which is a campaign to provide women and babies in Haiti with safe births. Mm. Oh my goodness. Good for her. So that's some wonderful little charity that she is doing. Downton Abbey was nominated for 12 Emmy Awards and came home with Bupkis. <laughs> Zero. Is that a British word? I'm uh, not absolutely familiar. not. <laughs> but people were gobsmacked at it. There you huh? go. Huh? Nice. Huh? Bringing yeah. that one out. Um, the, however, okay, but wait, let's talk about that a little bit. Just, yeah, go ahead. Do you think that has anything to do with the timing of it? Because I honestly think yes. if, the, if, if it was airing in America roughly around the Emmys, I think they would have gotten something. Sure. It's that, uh, that public absolutely, presence. Absolutely, yeah. Because, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. 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 Um, however, there was a victory ratings uh -huh. in the premiere of series four, the show, returned a record 9.5 million viewers yeah. up from the 9 million viewers of yeah. the series 3 premiere. Yeah. With so a that's peak of 10 good for them. Five, so. Yeah, so that was a big, yeah. big and, win and just for them. Uh, interestingly, uh, so their peak for their preview last week was 10.5. And Breaking Bad's finale last night had 10.3. Yes. So I thought that was really That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Pretty so. incredible. And it'll be interesting to see how those numbers hold up in yeah. the U.S. Yes. Absolutely. When the series And let's face it, Downton Abbey's in, what, over, over 150 countries, and it's got 120 mm -hmm. million viewers around the world. Massive following. Crazy. Massive Crazy. following. Yeah. Uh, finally, Phyllis Logan, who yeah. plays beloved Mrs. Mrs. Hughes. Hughes. Um, is still laughing about French windows, they say. Um, when the team won the Best Actor SAG Award for an ensemble, she said, we were so not expecting this. Shut the French windows! <laughs> okay. Meaning, shut, mm -hmm. shut the heck up, the door. some right. people would say. Um, oh, what was the other thing I was going to say? She said, so many people like the idea of Mrs. Hughes and Carson getting it together. She says, it might spoil it a bit, but I don't know. The jury's still out on it for me. Okay. So as far as a romance between the two of them, She's okay. not so sure about it. Quick one prediction, anything? Oh, gosh. You uh, ready? Um, oh, prediction. Um, that Edith is going to do some really dumb <laughs> stuff with this man. <laughs> to upset her father. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you think they'll get married, though? Go ahead, do a far, far prediction. Will they get, I don't think they're actually going to ever get married. I don't think they're ever going to get married. Yeah. But I, I think they may stay together. Yeah, and they may. She, he may never get his they divorce or whatever, but they may live together. Yeah, that's, that's my I love that idea. That's I think my that's. It'll, I said that last I think time. it'll so that. upturn yeah. the that's convention of yeah. Downton Abbey. I, I love that one. So. Um, I, I don't know. I uh, Mosley's going to come back and create problems. Okay. Mosley. <laughs> Mosley of all people. Okay. Mosley and his bad comb over. Well, I think I think Bates is going to take care of business with uh, Thomas. At some I'm point. looking forward to I that. Can't I wait. think that's going to be amazing. Courtney, yeah. where can they find you? You're going to find me on Twitter and Instagram at Stuart Starlet. Tamara. Uh, I am on Twitter at Tamara Berg, T-A-M-A-R-A-B-E-R-G. Also, my website is TamaraCentral.com. Okay, and you can't find me anywhere but here. <laughs> on so anyway, uh, thank you all for listening. I will hope to see with you, uh, speak with you next week and tune in then and rate and comment and let us know what you're thinking. We'll talk to you next time. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Bye. Cup of tea. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.